It was the crest of the Belle Epoque, the longest period of uninterrupted peace and prosperity in European history. Life was good. The Blue Flower is set before, during, and after World War I, and it tells the story of four friends, three artists, and one scientist, who create and live in a world of art, revolution, and passion. about love and war and uh, the enduring effects of, of art as a force for change. Uh, on the one hand, a personal story about uh, four friends and lovers, and on the other, a sort of a larger, more epic look at, at humanity and the things that drive us. It's a really interesting, vibrant, and uh, unique sort of storytelling that we're presenting here. That's Dada-infused. Um, but also quite linear. The beauty of the storytelling through multi-dimensional media and vernacular is very much what the show is as well. It's interesting finding a way of presenting uh, uh, art that is that pushes people back a little bit while keeping them engaged with a story. And, that is, and it's that balance that I find, I think that, that Will really knows how to do. It has been amazing in a way that how much each incarnation of the show, when it has been performed, it's changed. And, it's, you know, in both the design and different actors and different new material. And of course there are some constants to that. And it fits the metaphor of the blue flower, which is this attempt to find artistic perfection, which is of course impossible. And yet we try.